Quick Draw Synchron Tuning Turbo Rock Adamantia with none other than world champion Ryan Yu. Yo, Ryan, say what's up, bro. Hello. We're going to be showcasing this as a combo right now and then the deck profile and maybe a little replay then too. So, Ryan, why don't you take it from here, bro? Explain your plays. Yeah, so this is uh, game three of top eight against Kamal, uh, who's also playing Adamantia. So, I'm going to start with tuning here just to get the Synchron out of my deck in Millicard. And then I can pitch the Analyzer from my hand with a Quick Draw Synchron and revive it with Science to stack Doki Doki. Nice. So this is basically perfect because I get to get the full combo with protection from the Guardian that I'll summon off Doki Doki. Wait, and, and you, you did it normal? Wow, you didn't even normal summon. That's crazy. Yeah, so I'm gonna Doki off of the Analyzer. And then here I can pitch Gloves to summon Guardian to beat Hand Traps. Nice. Yo, that's actually... So from here, that's so good. What the hell? I can make uh, five rats with the two tuner monsters, summon O Lion. Then Link Cross is going to summon one token only because I don't want to clog my field. So is that allowed? Closer. So I'm going to Link summon the level three uh, Martial Metal Marcher, which uh, once summoned, it can special summon a tuner from my grave in defense. And then the Synchro Monster that, it, that it's used as material for becomes a tuner. So right now the rat is yeah. a tuner. Nice. So I'm going to use Raptite, and then I hit Researcher, which is fine here. And then, now since the Doki Doki uh, is not a tuner, and Raptite is a tuner, I get to make Savage here, which nice. usually you can't do, but the Marcher makes that possible. Nice. So I'll just use Researcher, and then get two level fours for Downed. So it's important that I'm keeping Savage and Guardian here, just to be hand traps. Right. Uh, since this is game three against Rock, I'm just going to make Carrier a quick... Buster to Savage, uh, add three with Block Dragon. Then I have a normal summon, so I can make Gygas. <laughs> and then I'm gonna summon Dweller just to play around anything that he might have. And yeah. this is basically just game. And uh, as you called, he actually had the Dark Ruler, so that was uh, really good that you were able to pull it off. So, uh, just one important thing. Uh, a lot of people think that if you're putting Savage in attack, you lose to Lightning Storm. But uh, that, only, that only makes you lose to Pankratox or getting attacked over. So you want it in attack because if they have Ruler and Lightning Storm, then they're going to be able to break it anyway. So yeah. you want to reduce the amount of outs that they have. Okay, big brain Ryan. So, oh. yeah, just going to the end of this duel, he can mind control the carrier and quick block journey, but he can't actually out my field. So Let's go. So to my turn, I'll chain block the Unicron, he negates block dragon, and then I tribute summon Nibiru for game because I thought it would be funny. <laughs> Solid. Let's go, baby. Easy clap. So from that, shout out to Kamal, even though you whooped his ass. And now we're going to go on to your deck profile. So as your deck profile, uh, I'm going to let you take it complete from here because I don't know anything about this deck. I'm a Pendulum Master, not so much Rock Master. So but before we get started, though, why one Black Dragon? That kind of uh, jumps out at me. Yeah, so there's uh, basically two ways to play uh, Adamation right now. You can either play a bunch of Earth Monsters, like uh, Medalche, Petting Sister, and then Unexpected Die. Uh, to increase your earth count, you can play 10 new spirit at Hara, which is a tuner free summon. Yeah. But I thought that playing multiple block dragons, uh, it makes you lose to Lancy out very badly, which is very popular in the side deck right now. Uh, playing multiple block dragons also means that you have to draw a bunch of earths to get them online. So one thing that a bunch of people don't consider is that if you draw block dragon in your starting hand, the way that you fuel earths into your graveyard is by starting to play. So if you make a fiber and it gets negated, then you just have a dead block dragon in your hand with a couple more earths that are just bricks. So I wanted to reduce the amount of bricks in my deck. Ah, so you play these, so it's like, it kind of like extends everything, right? Uh, yeah, I felt like a lot of the rock monsters that you don't want to draw would rather be in your grave, so that's why there's three Gaius and two gloves there. Uh -huh. It also turns on the reborn spells to let you play through hand traps. Like okay. uh, dumping Guardian with a Quick Draw and then reburning back is amazing. Okay. And quick Draw can be summoned whenever in the turn and it makes a Halka Fibrax or it can be used as Link Material. So it's just a very versatile way to unclog your hands and play through hand traps. Nice, nice. So uh, you have to play the full count for Emancipator cards, right? So yeah, at the start we have just the one block dragon and then the nine tuners for consistency. Yeah. And then. Uh, three Doki Doki. Uh, I was playing two Doki Doki uh, for the second LCS, which I got top eight at. Yeah. But I decided to add a third because uh, in the Metal Marcher combo that you guys just saw, the Rap Tank is a tuner, 
So you want to have a level two non-tuner to make Savage with it. And Doki oh, is perfect for that. Right, right. And then one Weeping Eyeball, it's the same thing as Doki, but you can add it with a Block Dragon for utility, and it's oh, a good extender. Yeah. Uh, three Guardian, because you always want to play the game traps. Yeah. So we just play a bunch of extenders and then Reborn cards. So you're om you're basically always going to be able to play through like multiple hand traps with this build. Right, right. And then uh, three Gaius and two Gloves. Uh, I decided to cut the Onomata Para and Onomata Pickup for the tuning cards because I thought that they were extenders. Because yeah. if you're drawing multiple rocks with the Para, then half of your hand becomes dead because you can't normal summon twice. That's but, right, that's uh, right. These cards are good. Uh, three Gaius is there because you'd rather know Gaius than Gloves. Because uh, Gygus is live when you summon a Gygus or a Gloves from deck, but Gloves can't be used on another Gloves ah, summon. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then we play a few level 4 extenders. So one Chithana, which is just a free summon when you don't control an effect monster. Uh, one Dinotheria, uh, free special summon, it's reactive. Uh, you do have to side it out going second though, because it lets your opponent reborn something from either player's grave. Oh, right, yeah. And then uh, one shade because it's the best level four extender. And it's just a free summon. Mm -hmm. And notably, notably, this deck can't play petting sister because well, you see the ash blossom there, and you also don't want to be playing petting sess right. with tunes in your deck or quick draw because it forces you to play in a way that's more susceptible to hand traps by using your extenders first. That's right. That's right. Smart, smart. And then the engine requirements are just the O line for the five drops combo and the gigantes for block dragon. And then I decided to play Triple Ash because uh, I know Dark Group is very popular, but uh, anyone in this tournament who was uh, good enough to be playing Addict Nature at like a very high level was named like a Union Carrier. Well, well I didn't, but everyone was named <laughs> like a Union Carrier. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, so they could bust your dragon uh, turn one in the mirror match. So Dark Ruler was never actually winning game one in the mirror. So I decided that. If you're playing against the Uglet combo deck, Ash can stop their two negate combo. If you're playing the mirror match, I'd rather draw Ash than uh, Dark Ruler because Ash actually has like a chance to stop them if they right. draw poorly. Right. Um, Ash is amazing against any rogue deck. It's definitely the best hand trap there. And it's also a tuner. So there was uh -huh. one game where I uh, summoned Ash and then flip shade and did the full combo. Let's go! Cool. Big brain play for Ryan. And then uh, two quick draw synchron, just so you have two targets. Like if you draw two in quick draw, it's not right, dead. Right, right. And it's exactly. also very good to hard draw because yep. it's still just an extender. Right, and it's a tuner, three, people. It makes needle fiber. Three, three uh, tuning because it thins your deck to search for the quick draw and also puts cards in your graveyard with the second effect. Right. Uh, three signs, one monster reborn. Just as I said, both like to get stuff out of your grave and play through cards with. With your uh, extenders, and then one twin twister. <laughs> I didn't want to lose to Mystic Mind. Oh, fair. That's good. You, you, I think you need like at least one somewhere in the deck, like one out to it. You know. I also drew it against Zombie round one, and hit. He had Super Poly Zombie World, so he lost that game. Let's go. Cool. Let's check out your side deck now. So yeah, instead of playing Dark Ruler and Lightning Storm, I thought it would be more optimal to be playing uh, twelve hand traps in total. So there's mm. three Nibiru, uh, three Lancia. And three impermanence. Yeah. Uh, so these are all very versatile. Uh, if you're playing against any combo deck, you have at least nine hand traps that you can put in. Right. So against Adonisha, you can put in all twelve. Against uh, Eldritch, you also put in all twelve because they all have impact. Yeah. Against Water, you can put in everything except for Valencia. And against Orcus, you can put in all twelve. Yeah. That's, that's well, good. I felt a lot safer throughout the weekend playing hand traps as opposed to Dark Ruler. I think that's a really good idea, actually. Even though, like, Rock could play against hand traps very well, but regardless, uh, like you said, Dark Ruler is not game. Like, Dark Ruler, you just get Dweller and the uh, uh, Buster card, and you still, like, you still can't win against that. So, uh, that's probably correct. Uh, and then the rest of the side deck... Uh, uh, one more thing, uh, just so the people know. Let's say you side in all 12 hand traps. Well, 9 of them plus a 3 already main deck. Uh, because it's possible for uh, your Adamantipator cards to whiff, what nine cards do you take out for the nine hand traps? Uh, so you have to take out Shithana and Dinotherium and uh, Shade, because all of them conflict with going second, because you've got Nibiru uh, that beats Shithana. Oh, right. Uh, Infirm for Shade, Infirm, and then Dinotherium yeah. sucks going second. Yeah. Uh, so you take out those three. You, uh, Depending on the matchup, you take out the Twin Twister. Yeah. 
Uh, you generally side out all three tunings. Probably all. Yeah, but then you, you that actually equals perfect. If you take out all five tunings and then those four, it's like, oh wow, yo, that's actually, that's really good. Like, kind of like fits perfectly. You're generally uh, leaving in a couple quick draw synchrons because they're okay. amazing extenders. Right, and you can right. take out the tunings. Okay, right, right. That's good. It's not gonna like. It's not like you're taking out Emancipator cards because that's what I was fearing. Because if you take out too many of those, you just can't play. Yeah. So the tuning engine is like an, an amazing side out too. Yeah. Uh, and the, generally, you take out one guy guess when you go second because you want to have a battle phase. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Well. All right. Nice. And uh, what about your extra deck? I uh, just for the rest of the side deck. Basically, oh like yeah. Lightning Storm. Right. Uh, the Buster Vault for Union Carrier. I didn't main it because I didn't want my deck to... I didn't want to go against a rogue deck and then blind carrier them and lose because my field is weak. Mm -hmm. I just don't like the idea of having to do that. Like, obviously, if you're in top cut, maybe that's more worth it because you know what everyone's playing. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to make my deck to be consistent in top as opposed to the Gwindy event. Fair, fair. So, for the extra deck, there's one of the new card, Link Cross. So this card's very busted because it just sends two tokens that you can use as synchro material. Uh, there's the IP Carrier, Five Rocks, uh, Three Nightmares, this is pretty standard, and then App Appaloosa. Mm -hmm. So uh, the level 3 synchro is Martial Metal Marcher, which is definitely the new MVP synchro, I'd say, in the deck. Because it lets you extend into a tuner of that type, and it summons a tuner from your grave. So it gets you bodies for Appaloosa, and it... It's a one-card map site, which basically lets you get to the carrier combo, even if you miss. Mm -hmm. And then Herald, Raptite, Drega, Savage, Dweller, and Granite, which is all pretty standard. Alright, bro, this looks super clean. I really like the deck, even though I don't know anything about it. And uh, anything you want to say about this deck, or maybe matchups that you had? Uh, so, round one, I played against Zombie, as I mentioned, and that was pretty... That was pretty sweet, because Zombie doesn't really do much. Yeah. Uh, round 2, I played against Dinosaur, and... Well, it was uh, probably deadly, eh, with the new support? It is pretty deadly, but I just comboed him. And <laughs> Ash actually saved me against Dinosaur. Nice. I Ash did Misk, and then he passed. And then... Solid. Round 3, I played against Invoked. Uh, it was pretty simple. He made me go first, and then couldn't out my board. Easy. Uh, round 4, I played Adamasia, and I... Lost game one, but then game three, the hand traps came through. Nice. Uh, I played against uh, Eldritch Combo at some point, which was my one loss in Swiss, so I went 7-1. Uh, game three, he triple hand trapped me because he was playing a very he was playing a very good deck that consistently beat Adamisha because he was playing the tuner Eldritch deck with a bunch of hand traps. Yeah. Uh, I would say that's about it for the interesting matches in Swiss. Cool. And then uh, your top cut, you ended up, uh, how's your top cut? Like you felt everything, your top, who was your top 16 match? I saw that soon I played against a rock mirror. It was the guy that I beat in Swiss. Ah. So I just hand trapped him. All right. And then top eight, you beat Kamal. Top four, you beat Victor. And then top two, the top two, man, that was just a rock mirror. Both of you guys playing two of the best decks in the world, the same deck. Basically, yours just had a quick draw. Comboing each other off and off, and it was amazing. Uh, any last shout outs you want to give? Uh, shout outs to Game Nation, obviously. Best team in the world, world, baby, let's go! Uh, shout outs to the Dysfunctional Family group chat because they're insane. Uh, that's about it. Thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Check out beautiful Triff Gaming Playman on TriffGaming.com. And if you want to get your amazing singles, Yu Gi Oh! singles on YGOMarket.com, don't forget to use Su5. And bro, Rock second best deck. See you guys next video. Let's go, baby. Peace.